Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about all of the adrenal receptors, their mechanism, and medications. Adrenergic receptors or adrenal receptors are a class of G-coupled proteins. They are triggered by catecholamines, such as norepinephrine and epinephrine. And once triggered by these catecholamines, they produce a variety of functions in the body, as we will see. And we have developed some medications that can either trigger or block these receptors to produce a variety of effects. For example, alpha-1 receptors are found mainly in the smooth muscles. And of course, we see the smooth muscles all over the body, including the eyes, the blood vessels, and the GI tract. Once alpha receptors are triggered, they will cause contraction of these muscles. So agonist action of the alpha receptors causes midriasis, vasoconstriction of the muscles in the skin, in the mucosa and the abdomen, and constriction of the sphincters. The most potent agonists are norepinephrine, then epinephrine, and then isoprenaline. And these are the other agonists. You can also antagonize this receptor using the following medications, which will cause relaxation of the smooth muscles. And this will decrease the blood pressure and cause meiosis in the eyes. We use this medically to treat hypertension as well as benign prostate hyperplasia because the prostate has a capsule and this capsule also responds to alpha antagonism. The alpha 2 receptors are found in the pancreas and also in some smooth muscles. Once triggered, they will cause contraction of the smooth muscle, activation of the platelets, decrease in the pancreas release of insulin, increase in pancreatic glucagon release, and they can be triggered or agonized by these medications. The most potent is epinephrine, which is just as potent as norepinephrine, and they both are more potent than isoprenaline. The alpha-2 antagonists can be used to treat impotence because they will cause a relaxation of the smooth muscles in the penis, and this allows more blood to flow into the penis. They can also be used to treat depression as they enhance the action and the release of norepinephrine. Beta-1 receptors have positive chronotropic, dromotropic, and inotropic effects, and they will also release amylase. They can be triggered or agonized by these medications. And interestingly, the most potent medication is isoprenaline and it can be antagonized using these medications. On the other hand, beta-2 receptors are found in the smooth muscles and once triggered, they will cause a relaxation of the smooth muscles. And this is very important. So we can use beta-2 agonists, such as salbutamol or albuterol, to cause relaxation of the smooth muscles in the respiratory system and treat the symptoms of asthma in patients. Beta-3 receptors are found in the fat and some of the smooth muscles and once triggered they will cause lipolysis and they promote the relaxation of the bladder and the muscles in the bladder. The most potent medication is isoprenaline. Generally, we are interested in beta blockers as they have a wide range of effects. All of the following conditions can be treated by beta blockers at different degrees. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this helped.